Welcome back. Now, an extremely interesting report came out in the Mint newspaper today that we want to talk about. You know, uh, a lot has been said about uh, this in the last so many years. Even a movie is coming. I think Akshay Kumar is coming out with a movie called Batman. Or Akshay Kumar is always coming out with a movie. <laughs> movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you know, kind of cynical. We might sound cynical in this, but the, I think it's an astounding report. So the report says, I mean, despite you know, despite so many different uh, schemes coming from the government of India to promote menstrual hygiene among women and adolescent girls. Usage of sanitary napkins is still sparse in large swaths of India. Yeah, so the thing is, the government has obviously made a lot of sanitary pads yeah. available. You know, they've tied up with NGOs, they've tried to do it themselves, they've put out millions. I think their goal was, in a 2011 uh, scheme, their goal was for 15 million girls. 15, yeah. In just like 20 states, not in the full country. G girls between age between Young 10 and 19. Girls, yeah, yeah just starting out, but uh, just hitting puberty. And but the problem is, in India, and especially with the scheme, is there's huge problems with logistics. I mean, yeah. it's hard to get these pads Absolutely. and get them to the villages and then convince the women to buy these pads. Absolutely. Because there's still a stigma around all this. Oh, I mean, yes. So one of the studies that the Mint uh, showed was that 80% of these girls in mm. these villages mm. knew what sanitary pads were. But only 30% actually used them. Yeah. I mean, that tells you what kind of stigma there is. Exactly. How hard it is to get the supply into the Absolutely. village. Whether it's it's not too expensive because it's only six rupees per yeah, pack. Correct. But even that may be a little too expensive for correct. some people. And the report clearly also says that even after uh, you know the scheme has been plagued by you know procurement costs, uh, procurement issues like high cost and lack of knowledge and lack of even disposable disposal yeah. facilities. Even That's that a simple thing. There's nowhere to throw it when you're done because yeah. there's no proper disposal facilities in large parts of India. I, I mean, even in urban parts of India, how much trash do you see around the country? And the government has also faced, I mean, not only that, I mean, if, if you see what has happened, the government also faced a little bit of ire for GST on sanitary napkins. Well, several other things were kept out of it, even things like Bindi, those items like that were kept out of it, but there was a clear cut GST on sanitary Yeah, napkins. so that's a weird thing, right? So, how can you have so many schemes saying, oh, we want women to use them, mm -hmm. we want them to use them, mm -hmm. and then put a GST tax on it? Exactly. What, what is the upside? Even and the Delhi High Court in oh, November yes, so that was a came out and said, Okay, you've not got taxes on bindis and stuff like that. Yes, so exactly. why do sanitary pads have taxes? And look at this fact, I mean, we were discussing. According to a 2016 study by the Indian Council of Medical Research in the national capital, majority, as he was saying, he pointed out a number, majority of these adolescent girls, 84%, and mothers of adolescent girls, 92%, were using cloth during menstruation, which they were reusing after washing it. But how? Oh, man. Wow. But to... How surprised are we allowed to be at this point? Because so many women in India still have to defecate outdoors. Exactly. I mean, we don't have proper plumbing in massive exactly. parts of the country. We don't have, I mean, in urban India, we don't have proper sex education. Yeah. Absolutely. So how do you expect women in villages who their entire world is like the panchayat head? Right? Exactly. And do you think this guy is going around fighting for sanitary pad rights? I look at that. I mean, although the washing of cloth was being done at a clean place by majority of women, if the reports Tell, tell us correctly, 61% of adolescent girls and 45% of mothers of adolescent girls were drying the cloth under the sun. And only 40% of adolescent girls had access to toilet facilities. The one he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, so I mean, like when you have stuff, when you don't have facilities, and then you add no education to that, and then you add ostracization to that, and then on top of that, you add a tax. How were you surprised that people are not buying this? Exactly. And 37% of unmarried adolescent girls reported about vaginal discharge accompanied with itching and foul smell. Yeah, I mean, and those according are... to the health ministry data, only 12% of India's 355 million women use sanitary napkins. I repeat, only 12% of 355 million women use sanitary yeah. napkins. I mean, okay, this looks weird. Two guys are here talking about it, but it's a real so, issue. We issue. can't feel the outrage that should be felt because we're both two guys. Exactly. But it's really a big deal because the moment you start neglecting this is going, oh no, it's just a female issue. It's not, it's a health issue. And if you don't get these sanitary pads, people, people, children it are going to keep dying. Exactly. This, is not, this is not like, a, oh, I got kind of sick, I'll be in bed for a couple of days. Absolutely. And it is a health health issue. He's it's a potentially right. fatal thing. Imagine, 80, if you go with the last number I was telling you, but 12% of the 355 million, 88% of women resort to alternatives such as unsanitized cloth, Ashes and husk sand. Ashes. I mean, come on. So more ground level education is required in this uh, yeah. to take such initiatives and actually look at it. Look at possible 
proper positive implementation because there are many schemes and, and, and we easy need, to have and schemes. we need higher members higher politicians to come out and say Absolutely. this is a good thing we need you know the prime minister we need uh, president amit shah president of the bjp to come out and talk about it because right now they talk about things that are important sure and correct. some things that are not maybe that important correct. Correct. but if if you have a prime minister come out and say yeah sanitary pads are good can you imagine the effect that will have on the lower rungs of the party I just thought about hygiene that it's I mean it's it's important to do that it's just not about yeah, it's just not a question change, of personal hygiene you need to change the mentalities absolutely absolutely